The Eiffel Tower is without a doubt magnificent, but as tall as the tower is, India's new bridge is 95 feet or 29 meters higher than the Eiffel. Pause for a second to think about that. Unbelievable, right? We thought so too. In fact, the Chennai Bridge is so marvelous it was almost impossible to imagine. However, India defied the odds and built a bridge this incredible in the most challenging of locations. Around the Himalayan mountain in the middle of the picturesque Kashmir Valley. As mind-blowing as this sounds, it is only the tip of the iceberg. Stay tuned as we bring to you more exciting details of this modern engineering marvel. At over a thousand feet above the Chenab River, this marvelous bridge serves as a link between the Bakal and Kauri villages of Jammu and Kashmir, and is built to convey thousands of passengers in fast-moving trains to other parts of the country. Spanning over 4,300 feet in length, the Chenab Bridge is made of steel and concrete and will be functional for over 120 years. A mix of longevity, expertise, and awesome creativity, Chenab isn't just a milestone achievement for Indians, it's a global phenomenon. As the bridge's main arch has been completed, rail tracks are currently being laid and by January 2024, it is expected to be fully operational for trains to drive on. The Chenab Bridge's wonder has a great significance both economically and socially for the Kashmir people. And so, do we now scrutinize the living conditions of Kashmir and its pre chenab Bridge story? It happens that for many decades before the construction of the Chenab Bridge, traveling in and around the mountainous Himalayan terrain of Jammu and Kashmir had been very difficult for the local residents of that area. Many residents took the winding 300-kilometer Srinagar Jammu National Highway, which was the only land route connecting Kashmir with the rest of the country. This road was, however, very dangerous as many accidents were recorded and countless lives lost on it. And not only was it prone to accidents, normal agricultural activities of farmers were hampered because they found it difficult to transport crops and fruits to other destinations for trading. In the light of these challenges, the Indian government stepped in to solve the transportation problems by proposing a railway project that will connect the regions of Jammu and Kashmir with the rest of the country. At the initial stage, the project seemed impossible as it was difficult to imagine a bridge that high. However, during the first year of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the project was approved in 2003. But it wasn't until 2008 before the contract for the construction was finally awarded. Again, fears of the safety and stability of the bridge led to the construction work being suspended. By the year 2009, a review of the bridge was submitted to the Indian Railway Board, with the design re-approved much later in July 2012. The next five years was used in getting all the planning needed and construction of the bridge resumed once again in 2017. About $181 million were allocated for the construction of the Chinab Bridge as it was part of a larger railway line project undertaken by the Indian Railways Ministry the Jammu Udhampur Srinagar Baramula Rail Line. Now, to embark on such a mega construction project, which was one of its kind, sufficient manpower and highly skilled expertise was required. And for that reason, the Indian government employed the services of several top engineering experts and firms across the world, including over 300 engineers and 1,300 workers in total. The design and construction was a joint venture comprising South Korean firm Ultra Construction and Engineering Company, AFCONS Infrastructure, VSL India, consultants and equipment suppliers from Germany, Finland, and Switzerland, among others. Since this was the first of its kind in India and the world at large, technical guidance and monitoring services, proof checking the project drawings, ground engineering, planning, and consultation were necessary. Konkan Railway Corporation was saddled with this responsibility. The bridge's design was made in compliance with various national and global standards and codes, including the National Codes of India, Indian Railway Standards, British Standards, and the International Union of Railways. Construction of such a massive project 
required the use of numerous heavy-duty equipment, including the world's longest cable crane arrangement. The project also employed advanced computer simulations and modeling techniques to ensure the highest safety and reliability standards. With materials made of steel and concrete, the bridge was designed to have two arches positioned on either side of the Chenab River to form a larger arch at their meeting points. The bridge also features a unique cable-stayed design to ensure stability in challenging terrain and extreme weather conditions. Furthermore, its arches are supported by mighty pylons and braces, which enable it to withstand the test of time. The bridge was designed to include numerous spans, as well as the 469 meters main arch span which travels across the Chenab River, with viaducts on either side. Its two ribbed shaped arches are each supported by a 130 meter long pylon and a 100 meter high pylon on either side of the river through cables, which is the first of its kind in the world. By November 2017, the base supports were completed, which allowed for the construction of the main arch. High strength friction grip, HSFG bolts were used for the bridge's critical golden joint which marked the completion of joining the two ends of the overarch deck. Considering that the deep Chenab River Valley under the bridge is prone to high wind pressure, steel was chosen as the construction material as it could withstand wind speeds of up to 266 km per hour. Also, since the region has in recent times experienced frequent terrorist attacks, concrete pillars, and special blast-proof steels that can withstand explosions of more than 40 kg TNT were used. Structural detailing was carried out with the most sophisticated Tekla software to test the steel and ensure it was strong enough to withstand hot or cold temperatures. Since several joints had to be made, a phased array ultrasonic testing machine was employed for testing welds and a NABL accredited lab was established at the site to make testing easier. In addition to that, the bridge was painted with special corrosion-resistant paint, which can last for over 15 years to prevent corrosion. All these precise and delicate measures had to be taken, not only to make the Chenab Bridge a unique structure, but to make it one that would stand the tests of time. Also, with the concrete and steel pillars being used, it is expected that the structure will withstand earthquakes of up to magnitude 8 on the Richter scale. This shows just how much safety considerations were put into piecing the awesome bridge together. Not only that, footpaths and cycle trails were placed at the bridge to maintain orderliness and also safeguard the life of citizens. And for the trains that make use of the bridge, a ring of aerial security is being provided with an online monitoring and warning system that will notify passengers and trains of critical conditions. With such creativity and innovative ideas used at the Chenab Bridge, one might overlook the serious challenges that were faced during the construction of the Chenab Bridge. But we can't fail to mention the struggles before this glorious triumph and the obstacles being surmounted. First of, the workers endured harsh weather conditions in the mountainous terrain all through the years of constructing this bridge. Windstorms and cold temperatures were a regular occurrence at the site, and sometimes the temperatures became so hot and unbearable. Another problem was accessibility to construction materials as the lack of infrastructure in the mountainous region led to local workshops and print shops being set up on either side of the Chenab River. Even electricity was produced within the construction site as there was no previous power infrastructure available in the mountains. Not only that, the water used for mixing concrete was also piped from far away distances. However, they successfully navigated these challenges with unwavering determination and meticulous planning. The dedicated team of engineers and workers collaborated tirelessly working 24-7 to overcome technical complexities and ensure the timely completion of the bridge. Now, what was probably the biggest challenge of the Chenab Bridge was its location as the area had been a site of long-standing political and territorial tensions between India and Pakistan both of which claim ownership of Jammu and Kashmir. However, the construction of this bridge by India has guaranteed a railway connection that will transform the country's security landscape by enabling easy movement of Indian troops. 
The bridge's railway link will also help in transporting logistics and supplies for the Indian Army to Kashmir, thereby providing an additional strategic advantage. Finally, in the early weeks of August 2022, the magnificent Chenab Bridge was completed with its inauguration taking place on 13th of August 2022. This was two days before the celebration of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, an initiative of the Indian government to commemorate its 75th independence anniversary. As the Chenab Bridge stands tall, it symbolizes more than just a railway link. It represents India's commitment to transformative infrastructure development. Its magnificent structure will connect regions and people, fostering economic growth, tourism, and cultural exchange. And that brings us to the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our channel. Your support means the world to us and helps us produce more content like this. Stay tuned for the next video.